Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. My name is Ed and in this video we're going to look at how to resolve an HTTP 500 error that presents itself in OWA after you have updated your Exchange version, either a cumulative update, CU, or a security update, SU. So what I want to show you is when you have finished updating Exchange and you go to the default OWA page, this is what you see, so it looks 100% fine. When you actually put in the password for the user, or a user tries to sign in, this is the error that you get. Your request couldn't be completed. HTTP status code 500. Now, if you scroll down or expand the selection, what we can see is the inner exception error here shows system IO directory not found exception. So that means that something is missing from within the OWA directory. So how do I fix this error? Well, it's actually pretty straightforward. If we go to our file explorer and we navigate to wherever you've installed Exchange, whether it's be C, D, E, whatever letter, program files, Microsoft Exchange version 15, client access over prem and then the version in this folder you're supposed to have a whole stack of other folders now what am i referring to so let me go back a uh, section here if i go back to the previous build you can see i've got all these folders config files etc now in the latest one for some reason it's missing now to resolve this issue you can copy it from another working server that has the files populated. In this case, uh, I just made a backup of this to demonstrate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of this and then go back to this folder and put the files back. Uh, it's, it's about two, just over two gigs. Um, and I've seen it on 2016, 2013, that it all depends on, I think, the disk access, that the right time sometimes out of day, it was 10 minutes, 20 minutes just to copy a two gig folder, but it's all because it's small files. So what we have to do in this situation is once we've copied the files and folders back into the um, location here, then we need to perform an IIS reset, which is what we'll do in a second, as soon as the copy is done. And let's just wait for this to finish quickly before we continue. Um, it, this is an Azure lab. Uh, it's got premium SSD disk, so it's actually not too bad from the speed perspective. 60, 70 megs per second is not bad. Um, Okay, almost done. Okay, right. So you would have noticed that this EXT folder was the only folder there. And you can't copy it because it's in use and it can't be removed either. So you see it's got um, items in it already or folders or files, etc. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to kill that and we need to just come and do an IIS reset. And let's just give it a second to do its thing. So what I wanted to show you, uh, I left it open earlier. Yes, I was busy working on here. And sometimes when you do an IIS reset, it gives you access tonight, even though I'm running this as administrator. And it shouldn't take this long. Uh, you can see, run it again, and it stops, starts without an issue and then what we can do is go back to edge and then we will open up our other page again Just give it a second because we've done an IS reset, so it does take a couple of seconds to start up. 
and then if I put my password back in again for this test user and just wait for it to do its thing we should be presented with an inbox as soon as it's done now obviously in a, in a production environment this might take a little bit longer or it might be quicker all depends on how powerful your servers are but there you go you can see that we've successfully restored our uh, functionality again and that is all because of the files in the version you can see by the date we're missing so if you ever have an issue where you have that http 500 error where it says that the folder is inaccessible or not available etc come and check c program files or d program files microsoft exchange of a version 15 client access over prem and then the version number now if you've been upgrading for a long time then this list is going to be quite long and i've seen a couple of those so simple way to fix it uh, it it tends to happen sometimes even though the cu or su says it's completed successfully something goes wrong in the background can be antivirus scanning uh, or something interferes with the actual setup process but it's like a one out of ten servers that actually get this and it's a simple solution to fix it so i just want to show you how to fix this http error and get your OA back up and running again so that the users are not affected thank you very much for watching